Okay, hello and welcome to my video of fitting a uh, dash cam hardware kit from the next base uh, range. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration on a basic fitting, so it's more or less generic through every kind of vehicle. Um, this vehicle I'm fitting on today is a 2018 Suzuki All Grip, and as you can see, the wires are going to run up through the roof lining to the dash cam on there and run down through the, um, the side panel down to the dash and through to the bottom and the wires are going to come out uh, where the fuse box is located as you can see there is daylight through there so it's actually quite easy to get apart this vehicle um, so what you need to remember with these is the fact that you get your kit here which is um, the standard kit that next base do. This is for the uh, the 522 GW that I'm fitting this for. And you get your power cable uh, mini USB and a positive and a negative connection. Now, the good thing is about the new, well, with the next base ones, especially now, is you get a universal adapter. So what that means is you can have either large fuse or small fuse adapter and what that means when you take the original fuse out now I use the uh, accessory fuse which is your 12 volt socket uh, I've got two in this car so I use I've used one for the rear uh, which is I don't use the rear one but you can wire it to the front one so I removed the fuse uh, from the fuse box in there as you can see we've got a fuse missing and all we'll do now with this it's a micro fuse that's a micro fuse adapter there okay and what happens is you slot this into the slot for the um, 12 volt accessory and all that does is that, that that slots in into the slot in there so you would uh, I'll just give you a demonstration you would you would press it in a little bit faffy that's it in there now. It is self fused and you would connect this bottom lead to the dash cam wiring. Okay, so it is worth remembering as well when you uh, put this connection into your fuse box that you'll see there there's a little gap for another fuse. You do need to put the original fuse back in to bridge the connection. Now, what you'll find is with modern fuse boxes, is they use the uh, micro stubby fuse which is sort of it's got the middle body in the middle of the fuse of plastic there which is highly annoying because um, the convectional fuse at the same size doesn't have the plastic bottom and it is sticks out a little bit but it does the same thing so use a 15 that's what it was in uh, my fuse box there and what you need to do is, is put that in the uh, top of that fuse there. I'm trying to do this whilst holding the phone, it is quite hard. But once that's in, that will act as your cigarette lighter fuse, and the two amp behind it is the, uh, the lead fuse for the uh, 5 volt camera plug in. So we'll go ahead and plug that in now, and I'll get back to you once I've plugged that in and make sure it's in properly. Okay, so I have the uh, connection plugged in there. I don't know if you can see it pretty well there. Let's have a little look. There we go, so the connection is plugged into the fuse box into the 12 volt accessory socket um, for the rear. The front is above it, but I have used the front before on numerous vehicles. Um, so what I've done now is I've also connected the, uh, the earthing wire. So from the from the wiring kit here, you'll have an earth wire which has got a little spade connector on it. Um, a little uh, a little hook. Which basically just fine, in your fuse box you should have uh, numerous chassis bolts. Uh, so what I've done there is just uh, a 10 mil socket, undone it, loosened it slightly, place the connector underneath and tighten it back up and that should create a, uh, a suitable earth for um, this amount of power source. It doesn't need anything substantial, it's only a small earth, so anything, you know, usually if you need a fuse box you should have a, a couple of wires, you know, if not, if, if, there's, if you haven't got an accessible, you know, a, a door joint bolt or something similar to that would be, it would, would suffice. Um, it's not going to do any damage, anything to a, a door bolt, it's still run for the same chassis. So, all we need to do now is basically uh, run the cables up through the uh, top of the car here and as you can see I've already taken off the uh, the panel for the airbag system 
there which is all on plastic clips modern cars are quite easy and we'll run it up up past the uh, the drain pipe for the uh, sunroof and into the the lining of the roof and to the dash cam location there um, I must stress as well when you install these do not install the wires over the top of uh, the airbags some cars will have a folded airbag that run all the way down the pillar don't put your wire over the top go underneath the airbag because obviously in the event of an emergency airbag deploys the uh, the wire may hindrance the deployment of the airbag it may not operate correctly uh, look for me the airbag here is actually up into the uh, it extends from the t-bar all the way down and the airbag will deploy down here in, a, in an emergency so I'm going to go ahead and wire that up don't be afraid to uh, to take off your your door seals they just pull off and as you can see there access to all the wiring nice and easy straight up straight in and all the way around and I'll give you a shout back once I've uh, threaded that through okay so I've now routed the uh, the hardware kit uh, from the uh, connector there up the uh, lining and all you do with the lining here is just pull it back ever so gently and, and just just thing put your fingers in there and and, and stuff it up <laughs> basically. Uh, the second wire there is for my uh, rear camera because I've got two cameras with a 522GW and one in the rear as well which is also wired up through the, the lining all the way back the rear of the car. So that's it as you can see there the uh, the cables now I've just routed and used the original clips for the drainage for the sunroof and it's just nice and neat it just goes in and goes down there into the uh, into the fuse box so that's nice and neat, stacked away, and the good thing about these is it's not a permanent fitting, so you don't have to worry about damaging the car, you know, everything's supposed to be temporary fitment, so if you change cars, this kit can come straight back out. And down here, I haven't tidied the wiring up yet, but um, I'll show you another video in just a tick once I've got all that tidied away, stored, and made safe. So all I've done now is I've tidied the wiring away, I've tidied the earth wire, um, and just pressed it against the loom, and all this is covered by a plastic face here, so you don't have to worry about cable tying anything back. And all I've done in here is you can see the uh, the uh, wiring for the actual next base camera. Um, I've tied it back up with the original um, metal tie. And all I've done is I've, I've placed it in there with the rest of the wires and left some loose wiring uh, down there just so it's got space to move with the glove box that goes in and out. Now I must uh, make you aware, just be careful of these yellow wires that are coated there. They are the live airbag feed. So whatever you do, do not um, unplug that. Um, it won't just, it won't go off, it will just, when you start your car up, you'll need a diagnostic because it will put a light on your dashboard. But I um, have to say, just be careful of these cables there because there is a potential it could activate your airbag. So just be, bear that in mind. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm basically going to uh, place the fascia back on the airbag panel and basically all it does is is clip straight in it's fairly straightforward it's it's fairly the same on any make of car Mercedes uh, and Volvo sometimes have a little flap here with a nut and you take the nut out and then it just it clips off it's the same principle on these cars so when that's on make sure that you have all your clips lined up in there and then just press don't be afraid to give it a little knock okay and that's uh, that wide in there and you'll see the the door seal and basically that just squishes on there squishes around and make sure you press it into the corner first in there and then that will slot in there and basically make a seal around the door, like so. Give it a good thump afterwards. Make sure the seal's in, because you don't want a blowy seal, because it will whistle and get on your nerves. Okay, so that's the uh, fascia back in place now. As you see, there's no wires visible at all. And then I've got the wires coming down to the dash cam. And you can test this now by turning on the car ignition. Yeah, blue light. Uh, it should come on and load. There you go. We're now live. Thank you for watching. Keep updated for any more videos and like and subscribe. Thank you.